wait, can I can I drop this coffee? Come on. Spill the coffee. Spill it. Spill the coffee. Spill the coffee. The coffee doesn't want to spill. It's some kind of magic coffee. Definitely magic. Oh. Who's this? Who are you? In here. William? Okay. Oh. Oh, look at the bedroom. Oh. That thing's gonna get a little bit hanky panky. Or maybe not. Wishful thinking. A new limestone discovered. Zagog, October 11th, 1960. A rich de so deposit of limestone has been discovered a few kilometers north of Belika, Croatia. The geologists who surveyed the site say that there is an abundance of special composition of limestone that is very suitable for the manufacture of super concrete. Super concrete? The material used by the Reich architects when constructing new buildings. This could be our biggest find yet, commented the geologist when we rang her up yesterday. So, apparently the Nazis have super concrete. Is that like... I'm not kind of... I'm, I'm not kind of understanding what super concrete is. Because concrete's pretty super. You know? Unless it's like, you know, cut with metal. <laughs> concrete cut with iron. So it's basically just... Well, it's metal. <laughs> pretty much. Just with a bit of rock on the side. Anyway, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, cutscene. William? Is that for me? <laughs> yes. You know there's just one bed. Yes. Are you comfortable sharing? Wait. Sometimes Christmas. Oh, sexy, of course. Sometimes birthdays. Sometimes That's when he has birth. Suffering Wait. and death. Sometimes you just need to feel something good. Well, it looks like they had a pretty good night. I know where to go. Way to get inside Eisenbad prison. There's a hotel, it's on the same street as secret police headquarters. Okay. What 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 why what what just happened? Secret police headquarters is notorious here in Berlin. They bring prisoners inside for questioning. They torture them. Then they drive them back to Eisenbad prison. If they're still alive. Something's happening. There's a prison transport arriving. Oh, Go there's quickly. a thing. Give me a second, I'm reading this. So what's that? Escaping prisoner eaten by Panzerhuden. Berlin, October 1960. A prisoner trying to escape Eisenwald last week found himself in the belly of the beast when he was eaten alive by one of the guard Panzerhuden. Does that thing really have a belly? Don't think it counts as belly of the beast. But anyway, the guards tried to pull out the prisoner from the metal jaws of the Puzahind, but superiority of Reich technology made the rescue attempt futile. The prisoner was convicted murder and rapist who was certainly not to be missed by anyone. He probably wasn't even a rapist and a murderer. He'd probably just stolen some bread. These are the Nazis, after all. You know, this is the kind of thing they do. Just he's a rapist and a murderer. And a you find a way to get down on the roof of that Stole some bread. Bus. You hide on that roof and you can ride it all the way into Eisenbach prison. I go down and distract the guard. And maybe he won't see you. Holy crap, what is that? The the Nazis. They're not lacking in vanity. <laughs> They're really not, are they? That's a giant nipple building. Nipple building. Okay, right. I have a knife. I only have a knife. Okay, so it looks like I'm trying to be sneaky and scary on this one. Let's be a stealth ninja. I'm going to be a stealth ninja. Stealthing about the place. Oh, okay, we found a way in. And what's that? Erdman's letter? I'm not... Oh, sorry, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, wait, 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 wait. I need to, like, hold my breath or spin around or, or do one of them weird things that you do when you've got the hiccups. I don't know, like, drink out of a glass back... Was it drink out of a glass backwards or something like that? 
I, I think is one of the weird ones that you can do. That, personally, I've never understood. It makes no sense to me. Drinking out of a glass backwards. Surely that's just drinking out the glass from the other side, right? <laughs> Not sure on the concept of that one. But anyway, moving swiftly. They, they seem to have gone now. It would appear that it was like the two hiccup moment, you know, when you only get sort of two hiccups. And then you think, wait, what was that? It's kind of like sneezes. You know, you only get two. <laughs> or maybe, maybe you get three. I don't know. I, I had a friend that when he sneezed, he just would not stop. It, it would sneeze and sneeze and sneeze and sneeze and sneeze until, well, until you had to slap him. Like, it wasn't nice, Curious, but, you? you know, Useless without a battery. it's what you had to do. Because <laughs> you had to terrify him, you know, you had to scare him, so you had to slap him out of it. It was very funny. <laughs> Not for him, I don't think. Anyway, let's click this. What does this do? Oh, we found the battery. We have found a battery. Laser cutter. Battery's low. Cool. So wait, does this... Can I, can I interact with this? So the battery is low. So how do we... Surely I can just plug it into this generator, right? Maybe? Can I, can I plug it in? Come on, let me plug it in somewhere. No, I can't, I can't do that. What, let's have a... Ooh, what, what was he doing? Hmm, very suspicious. Very suspicious, if you ask me. Incredibly suspicious. And can we go through there? No, we can't. Anything down there? I, I keep looking out for, like, lost souls and things. Because I've been playing so much Dark Souls, I, I'm looking out for things in Dark Souls in this game. It's just not right. <laughs> I've played way too much of that game. Okay. Charge the laser cutter. The laser cutter is charged. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. That's that's not a very that's not a very even cut. There we go. Okay, that wasn't an even cut, but it got the job done. Oh, there's another one. Can we go? Do we have to do that again? Yeah, we do. And da 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 da. Okay. Slow and steady. A nice little circle. And it's perfect. Perfecto mundo. Now, is there anything in here? No, there isn't. Okay, right, I'm going to swap out to the knife just because I can't imagine the laser cutter is very useful when trying to kill guys. Oh, ho, ho. Right, ready? Ready? Go, 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 jump! Holy crap, that could have gone horribly wrong. But thankfully it didn't. Okay, we've got a Nazi in here somewhere. Oh, 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 there's one, there's one. Come on, buddy. Oh, and that's a takedown. Oh, ho. How's that guy's tendon? I feel for that man. Okay, we've got one in there. Now, can we go through that? No, we can't go through that door. Okay, so that door's locked off. I suppose that's good to know. Where is he? Where? There he is. Shit, 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 shit. I think he may have just seen me. There we go. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, crap. What the? <laughs> I was trying to, you know, actually take down those guys with a proper takedown. I think if I want to take down both of those guys at the same time, I'm going to have to be a lot more sneaky. Okay, open the window. Window is open. Dun 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 knife in the neck or or the back where wherever whatever suits you Oh bugger Oh bugger don't see me don't see me There we go We've got him Okay Next up I don't think this guy's gonna get a chance to turn around Oh oh there is there we go we got him we got him. Excellent. Okay, now what do you have in these drawers? There's got to be something interesting over here, right? Like an Enigma code or... Is that the Enigma code? No, that wasn't. I don't know what that was. That was something. Oh, hello. Yes, we found a map. There's is a map. Oh, shit, there's a guy in there. Oh, 
There we go. Got him. Oh, that could have gone badly. What the hell? Oh, shit. Come on. Come on, you horrible thing. No, you don't. Yeah. Silly dog. You'd think with the technology to make them, you know, them robot dogs. Because they're making robot dogs, aren't they? Which aren't actually dogs. They're kind of like, sort of, well, I suppose they are just robot dogs as opposed to sort of cyborg robot dogs. Because this is a cyborg. Wouldn't you say? I'd definitely say that's a cyborg. But anyway, moving on. There's a phone ringing. The hell? Oh, hello. I'll take that. Thank you. Now, where, where is that phone ringing? Oh, I don't know what we just did there. Oh my god, we've just found a magic path. Okay, now what is down here? We have found the Enigma code, yay! So that was a little hidden one there, that, that was very sneaky. Like most of the Enigma codes up until this point in the game, you've just been able to find randomly throughout the game, you know, just, just randomly kind of sat there. It makes me wonder now how many of just, you know, I've missed because they've been hidden and behind a door or behind a vent or whatever. What the hell? Did you hear that? There was a dog bark. I think that might have been in real life, though. <laughs> I've got the window open. There's, there's occasionally noises that happen outside, like a truck goes by. And then you think, wait, was that a truck in game? It might have been. It might have been a truck just very far away. Okay. Oh, it's the commander. Oh, I'm sorry, commander. Wait. Oh, no. I think he might have been having a chat with someone. So if this was real life, that guy on the other end would be like, Bob? Bob? Oh, my God. Somebody just killed Bob. We need to send some guys over there right away. But no, of course, because he was talking to himself. So what's this? First German lands on the moon. Oh, it's kind of like that Iron Sky film. If you ever saw that, then it was hilarious. If you haven't seen it, then you should. It, it's basically Nazis on the moon. It's an amazing film. It really is, just because it's so hilariously ridiculous. But anyway, first German lands on the moon. Berlin, t July 21st, 1951. At 3.56 yesterday afternoon, astronaut Hams Amstark, kind of a... I know. I'm trying to see if there's a link between um, Neil Armstrong. I suppose there kind of is. Hans Armstark, kind of similar, became the first man to walk on the moon. First contact with the moon's surface was made 30 minutes after Armstark and his co pilot, Emmerich Otto, steered the lunar module to its landing spot in an area known as Glimmer Ball. After the landing, the two astronauts began their adventure on the moon by planting the beautiful flag of the Reich. They then started collecting soil and rock samples for further ana analysis back on Earth. So, instead of the American flag on the moon, it's the German flag just sat on the moon, being a German flag on the moon. <laughs> Forever. We've got some guys. Should we go and rescue them? Should we jump down there, or maybe not? Maybe we should just shimmy around. I'm sorry, guys. If I could release you, I would. But I think I'm on a track. Can I just go? What? Surely I... What? Okay, it's just a car. It's fine. Everybody calm down. No need to panic. Oh, come on. Let's get... Can we get down there and help that guy, those guys? I don't think I can. It's Yeah, it's really not going to let me. No, I'm stuck on the wall. Unfortunate. I kind of feel bad for those guys. Actually, maybe, just maybe, these are the guys I'm here to rescue. Because I know I'm here to rescue someone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Jump, jump, man. Like a badass. Okay, it wasn't that big a jump. Although he has done some badass things. Standing. 
comes down to it, I'll fight alone. But I promise you this. Stella, Stella! Friends, if this is where they're keeping you, I will find you and set you free. Okay. It's like he's laid down a gauntlet. He's like, yep, the Nazis have taken over. Everyone's dying. But if my friends are in prison, then I'm going to save them. Stay off ground. Stay off ground. So we're in a Nazi prison, armed only with a knife and a laser cutter. Well, this is going to go well. <laughs> this is going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, we just need to stay close to the ground. Let's... Let's have a bit of a gander around. What do we got? Oh, we got we got some cameras on the wall. They look very relatively sort of highly sophisticated, somewhat technological. But I'm sure we can avoid them. They don't seem to be looking down here, which is good. Uh, what have we got over there? Nope, nothing. Anybody of anybody? I'm a common to set my friends free. And I'm gonna kill every single one of you. Besides, oh, oh, we got a guy. He's looking the other way. There we go. Excellent. I was kind of hoping that I could have jumped onto him like some sort of swooping angel. You know, down on top of him from above high. <laughs> Vengeance. Vengeance on high. Oh, okay. I'll charge that. Thank you very much. Excellent. Wait, what's that? New objective. Lo locate Zelen Block B2. Okay. So, Zelen Block B2. This way, I suppose. Use the later cutter on the change to cut. Excellent. This laser cutter is pretty useful. I suppose every good, like, first person shooter, sort of like this one, has to have that kind of unique tool, doesn't it? And this one, the laser cutter seems to be that unique tool. Like, Half Life 2, you had the gravity gun, and then there were others. 